Okay, this is an interesting problem from a Singapore Maths um, Grade 6 book. So let's get my pen going. Wayne's savings to Steph's savings were in the ratio of 5 to 6. After spending $28 each, the ratio became 1 to 4. And the book asked to find Wayne's savings before he spent $28 and Steph's savings after she spent $28. And we're going to assume no knowledge of any algebra or anything like that. We're just going to see if we can draw this, okay? Um, right, so we're going to start, we're going to draw a bar for Wayne and we are going to draw a bar for Steph. And I'm also going to, I'm going to start off drawing this beginning situation where the ratio is five to six. And I'm going to make a note of that here. That's helpful. Five to six. Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to do is draw, what does, what does Wayne have? He has one, two, three, four, five parts. Okay. Plus he has this $28. So I'm going to, actually I might just do that in another color, um, just to show that these are sort of separate units. And... It doesn't matter what size you do it. Um, but anyway, that's, that represents the $28. Okay, so that's 28 Right. Okay, so if Wayne has this and the ratio is 5 to 6, that means that Steph must have, okay, she must have, six of these parts okay all right so for every five that Wayne has Steph has six and she also has now I know that both spent $28 so don't get distracted by that but if this is true OK, we we've we've split this part of what Wayne has into um, into parts. OK, and so there's there's five parts here and six parts here. We must also split this into five. OK, so where we've got then. Twenty eight, we must divide that by five. That gives us five point six okay and so what Steph has I'm not actually um, I haven't measured how big this um, ought to be but anyway um, what Steph must have is um, 5.6 times 6 in this part okay so 5.6 times 6 gives us 33.6 okay so that is that is the uh, the beginning situation okay and I hope you've followed the the logic there okay right so what then happens so we're going to draw again we know that Wayne Okay, so here we've got Wayne. What does what is Wayne left with? Well, Wayne is left with these five parts. Okay. Because he spends all of this twenty-eight dollars. All right. So this is what lay Wayne is left with. And what I haven't done here, I should sorry. So I'm going to draw a bar for Steph as well, and. This is the end situation. So this is the start. Okay. And this is the end. And we go from, from 5 to 6 to 1 to 4. Okay. Now, if this represents one unit in uh, as it is here, then Steph must have four of these. Okay. So let's. So that would be um, 
five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, four. Okay. So excuse the terrible drawing. This must be what Steph has. And I'm going to put in all of the parts. Okay, so all of these parts have equal value, of course. And just to remind you so that it's easy to see, okay, this is one, two, three, and four to this one okay all right so so this is the end scenario now how can we now let's let's compare let's see what what's what's happening between the two okay let's choose maybe another color so that we can be really clear all right so wayne spent 28 now we we know that um steph spent 28 she didn't spend all of this she spent 28 what do we know that so at the beginning we know that Steph had these six parts plus this amount so at the beginning Steph had one two three four five six parts okay so she had all this at the start okay and she had um at the start, she also had this amount of money, but she has spent $28 of that. So we need to know the difference between um, 33.6 and 28. We happen to know that because this was, um, you remember, this was five um, times 5.6 and this is six times 5.6. So the difference, I'll write it here. So 33.6 minus the 28 is 5.6. So we know then that, um, that this bit, which is the difference, okay, this, th this is, this is the, the, um, the amount, this is money that she still has, okay, um, must, which must be the difference between these two amounts. So, these parts all together have a value of 5.6. And how many parts is that? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 parts. Okay, so that's 14 parts. So if we divide 5.6, if we divide that by... 14, we get 0.4. So each part in this model has a value of 0.4. Same here, all of these, and the same here. This has a value of 0.4. This has a value of 0.4. So then, what are we asked to do? So we are asked Okay, find Wayne's savings before he spent $28. Okay, so if each of these parts has a value of 0 0.4, then we want 0 0.4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 2. Okay, so this has a value of 2. And if we add that... Um, so Wayne's savings before he spent $28, if we add 2 to 28, then this whole thing has a value of 30. Okay, so $30. That's what Wayne had um, before he went on his spending spree. Okay, and we're asked to find Steph's savings after she spent $28. Well, um, this this represents Steph's savings after she spent $28, which is then 0 0.4 
times 20, okay? Which gives us eight, okay? So that's how much Steph has left at the end. So this is eight, okay? Now, how can we check if this is right? Well, we need to check with these original um, ratios. So let's have a look. At the start, we're told that um, the ratio is five to six. So what do we have at the start? Well, at the start, Wayne has 30. How much does um, Steph have at the start? Well, she has the eight, okay, that we calculated that she had at the end, all right? Um, Plus, she has the 28 that she spent. So um, 28 plus 8 gives us 36. Okay, and that matches that ratio of 5 to 6. And what do we have at the end? Well, at the end, we know that, um, that Wayne is left with the princely sum of two dollars and we know because we calculated it earlier that Steph is left with eight eight dollars and that of course matches um, this ratio here okay so I'm very happy then with those numbers all right I hope that helps